what? Hey champs, what's going on? Today is a traditional Thanksgiving day. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. But tonight I'm going to give you the Smackdown results for November 26, 2015. But I wasn't be able to give out the reactions for Smackdown. Um, unfortunately, I have no internet access. But once I got the internet access from my mom's phone to get the hotspot, I was able to gain internet. So, yay me! So, with the results for SmackDown, it all started with, oh, it, it, it was live in Indianapolis, by the way. And it started off with Roman Reigns coming out of the ring, and, oh my god, his segment was um with, before the Usos and Roman went to the WWE, they were wrestling each other, then all the stuff that they've been going through the childhood and their dreams of one day they could be WWE champion. And Roman's dream did came true, but it cut short. His dream was shattered by Seamus. And Seamus, who came down, interrupted Roman Reigns. And I am still sick of Seamus with the championship on his waist. Um, I am still sick of how that moment... At Survivor Series happened, and I'm still sick of Sheamus. Like, not. <sighs> I just hate Sheamus. I just hate him. But Roman Reigns tells them what he's gonna do to, to him at TLC with tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my! This is why Roman Reigns. He's my boo. He's like, he's so amazing. Like, he's got the skills, but seriously, but. I, I guarantee you that Roman Reigns will walk out WWE World Heavyweight Champion at Boston TLC. I might go to Boston, but I just don't know. I live in New York, but my mom won't let me. So Next, we started, off w Next we started with a tag team match, which was the Dudley Boys versus two members of the Wyatt family, Braun Strowman and Eric Rowan. And, um, and, and it ended with the Dudley Boys telling Devon to get the tables. And Luke Harper went for the super kick and it ended with the disqualification and Braun Strowman ended Devon with the submission hold. And Luke Harper and Eric Rowan throw Bubba Ray through the table and I was like, oh my gosh. Did that really just happen? Like, just now? And that's how Dudley Boys won by disqualification. Next, we have a Divas match, which was Becky Lynch versus Paige. And, and it wasn't really a great match so far, but they keep going at each other. But Paige picked up the win, but no cheating. But I thought Paige was going to get the ropes like on the, on the foot, but no. But Paige rolls Becky Lynch with the win. Next, we have, oh my gosh, the potluck dinner of the New Day with with Team Bad, and <laughs> that segment was really, really funny, with, um, oh my god, the New Day were going all over the place with the Goblin Turkey, that costume was Xavier Woods, and that was, like, really super amazing, but th there were, like, a couple people, like Heath Slater and Adam Rose, um, they were going over, they, they brought the food and stuff, but also Team Bad was there which is Sasha Banks, Tamina, and Naomi. Next we have our match, which is with Abel Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. And, oh, also, I couldn't do the tongue roll of Abel Del Rio, so I do apologize, but I can't tongue roll. But, Seth Coulter and Abel Del Rio, what was it? Dang it, I messed it up, but... It's okay, but I'll get to do it. But they kept talking of, over Jack Swagger, how saying, like, also there was a sign that says, Hey, Free Zone on Seb Coulter's, um, on his little scooter, something like that. But Jack Swagger comes down and fights up Bruno Del Rio. And that ended with disqualification with Alberto Del Rio hitting Jack Swagger with the chair. As, um, Jack Swagger was about to like, do something to Zeb Coulter, but Jack Swagger got up and hit Del Rio with a chair. So, if there was a rivalry between these two, I would probably have to say, at TLC, it will be 
a chairs match for the United States Championship. Jack Swagger versus Del Burro Del Rio. Comment below if you think that's good. Next we have our tag team match, which was the Lucha Dragons versus the New Day. And I saw the Usos come out here, like, not the Usos, but the backstage. And I, they saw him with the Turkey Goblin, and I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be something really interesting going on. But it was a really great tag team match, but with the Goblin Turkey. But as soon as Kofi Kingston got his foot on the ropes with the pin, the Goblin Turkey moves the feet, and then the Lucha Dragons capitalize with the win, and... <laughs> And what happens with, with Jimmy Uso with the blowhorn, with, with Xavier Woods tied up, and, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, that was super funny. And, and I realized who was in that turkey costume? That, my friends, was Jay Uso. That was super funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Like, and also, the Lucha Dragons and the Usos went for the attack. And also one of my favorite things was Jay Uso did the splash on Xavier Woods with the turkey costume on. It was super amazing. And they showed a promo of um, 25 years of The Undertaker. And it was really, really amazing of celebrating 25 years of The Undertaker. Next we have our triple threat match for the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, which was Dean Ambrose. Versus Dolph Ziggler versus Tyler Breeze. It was a really great match. Like, throwing punches at each other, like, super kicks at each other, then finishers at each other, something like that. And also, Kevin Owens was on commentating on the commentator table. And Dean Ambrose capitalized with Dirty Deeds on Tyler Breeze, picked up the win, and became the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Although, that could happen at TLC, but. That would be super amazing. Like, if DMOs wins the Intercontinental Championship and Roman Reigns wins the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, I can tell you this. This could be the best moment of my life right now. Like, have Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose as, as champions, as brothers, like forever, man. Anyways, thank you all for watching the results of SmackDown. Hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, but, but... I unfortunately have not been to the movies yet, but I will tomorrow. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.